And our fast paced and always connected world can be stressful. And that's why Denver 7 started the Human Grace Project. And this week, Dr. James Rouse looks into something we all know well, being <laughs> hangry. Hey, it's Dr. James Rouse with the Human Grace Project. And today we're talking about something you may know all too well. It's hangry. You've probably actually experienced it. We don't like that person. There's science here that says that it's hunger and it's angry and it comes together and that's where hangry begins. The best part about this though, there are simple things that we can do starting today to help us go from hangry to awesome. Number one, think about things like yogurt. Low to no sugar yogurt have something called probiotics. What they basically do, they feed your gut where 90% of your serotonin lives. Serotonin is your happiness chemical. Number two, think about whole grains like oats. Combination of one cup, which give you eight grams of fiber, will help you balance your blood sugar, give you sustained energy, and when you add dark berries, you're getting something called anthocyanins, kind of a scrabble word. What that basically means, it's a powerful antioxidant that actually helps your body to fight inflammation. Now on the way home where most of our hangry is experienced, think about what you can do throughout the afternoon. One thing, do not become dehydrated. Studies show that we are literally 60% water, but throughout the day as we're stressing and chasing emails and chasing different demands, we are literally becoming more dehydrated. And the more dehydrated we have, the more stress we have. So drink water throughout the day. The second thing you can do, make sure you have nuts and seeds on hand. Pumpkin seeds and almonds, they contain minerals and trace minerals and potassium and different things that literally help to feed our heart, help to maintain balanced blood sugar at the same time, help us to manage balance and ease. And lastly, dark chocolate. Make sure you go with 70% dark chocolate or darker because there are certain compounds in dark chocolate that help to support a healthy mood. And if you're going, oh my gosh, I can't do the calories, simply smelling the dark chocolate, which is called hedonic benefit, actually gives you similar benefit. So if you're looking to find a way to go from hangry to peaceful, ease, and grace, when you walk through the door, these are simple things that we can all do each and every day to help us present the best version of us.